Hey guys, this is Crazy Night Hero here, and I am back with another episode of Destiny Monthly Concepts number 11. And I think this is going to be a pretty special episode because we're covering an exotic concepts for a hand cannon and an auto rifle. So let's do this. Lately, the way this series has been going, I just think of exotics myself and other concepts that I would like to see, and I make them all by myself. Or you guys could leave a comment down below and I could make your idea for a concept come to life. Just leave a concept for anything you'd like to see in Destiny or Destiny 2 and uh, I'll make a concept for it. Whether it be a weapon idea, an exotic armor piece, or heck, even like a game mode. Like anything really. Just go ahead and drop a comment and you'll have a chance for it to be featured in the next monthly episode. So... Please do that anyways. Let's look at the exotic concept for the auto rifle and this is the Burning Man 2120. Now right away if you're familiar with the weapon foundries you'll see that this is an Omelon weapon but it's actually an auto rifle and yes we have had an Omelon auto rifle before in the form of the hard light but here is another concept I have and uh, right away you can see it is filled with lava. The description reads, and they said it would melt. And it's a quote from an Omelon gunsmith named Roku99. Okay, so let's just jump right in and see all the details that we can get out of this weapon. It is a primary auto rifle, of course, and it deals solar damage. And it is a uh, bullet hose. So you shoot really fast, dump all your rounds into your enemies. And I really like this archetype of auto rifle. Plus, we see that it has massive range, plus the rangefinder perk. So this, this weapon just has phenomenal range for it being an auto rifle. The stability could be a little bit better, but you could trade some range for that using that perk right there. And the reload is actually pretty horrendous. And uh, the magazine is a nice 60 rounds. So, pretty good. And this weapon to me, I really like this weapon. It's one of the f my favorite concepts I've ever made on this series. And just a lava field Omelon rifle. Like, how cool is that? Like, because, like, all the Omelon weapons just kind of shoot like water almost. Like, you can see, like, the tanks, and as you shoot, it just kind of, like, goes down and stuff. So I'm like, what would just be, like, super devastating to launch at your enemies? It's still liquid. And I'm like, dude, lava. So. That's pretty much the inspiration for this gun, and uh, let's talk about its exotic perk, shall we? Okay, there's pretty much two big things to this perk. It's called Molten Rounds, and what it does is upon hitting precision shots on a target, they start to light on fire and progressively burn harder and harder. So you hit a few precision shots on a target. It could be a Guardian, it could be a Drag. It's pretty much just a percentage of damage you do on that target it's not a said number just like so if you were shooting a thrall then the burning process would go faster than if you were to say shooting a boss so it's just based on like the percentage you, of damage you've dealt in a specific magazine so there would be three stages of burns they would be just them burning a little bit they get a little bit of tick damage then burning them a little bit more and they receive a little bit more tick damage and then burning them a lot to receive a lot of tick damage. Now, it wouldn't necessarily last a super long time like how Thorn did in year one. It would mainly just make the ticks of the fire damage hurt more. Now, the only way you'd be able to grow this burning effect on your enemies is if you were hitting precision shots. So, the more precision shots you hit, the more tick damage or damage over time they would receive. Now, if you kill an enemy that is like reached the max burning point like is at that stage three of burning then that target explodes so it's not like a guaranteed firefly with just that last hit you have to hit like a lot of precision shots before then but you will get that explosion and it would be really nice and uh, also you would get the more damage on that initial target initially so that would be really nice and there is one last thing if you kill a target that is like at burning stage three and they do explode the next magazine you put into your gun if you reload within the next like five seconds then the next magazine you throw into your gun will be a fancy magazine and we'll talk about that in a second now, sorry if this is all a little bit confusing 
but what this special magazine would do after killing that person that has been lit on fire a bunch, you could then spread AoE damage wherever you shot. Like, you could draw fire in the way you shot. So if I were to, like, spell my name in the bullets I shoot on the ground, it would leave fire on the ground that would then be able to damage more enemies and have a little bit area of denial. I wouldn't have it, like, last super long like a solar grenade, but it would be absolutely amazing to just spread fire everywhere. So, hopefully you guys got that. It would pretty much just be lighting targets on fire with precision shots, and if you light them on fire enough, then, and then kill them, then they explode, and then after that you reload real quick, you get a fancy magazine, and then you can draw fire everywhere. Now another picture I made with this gun is this one here. You can see the top of the magazine, so whenever you reload you just see a ton of lava just like splashing up into the gun and really just give it that deadly feel. And when you would reload with like from an empty magazine, then there wouldn't be any lava inside. So you, you kind of get the point. You, you're taking that empty magazine out and you're slapping a fresh batch of lava in there. And then something I would do is an effect like these exhaust pipes with these flames just coming out. I would have those light up whenever you have a target that's reached stage 3 burning. So the gun's just like, let's do this, and it's just like, kaboom. Anyways, I had a lot of fun with this weapon, and the general feel would be a little inaccurate, but if you're just consistent and you stick with it, the reward is massive. And one little tidbit before I go, the reason I put 2120 at the end of the name is because that is about how hot lava can get. Okay, up next, and our final concept for the video is a uh, Mita multi-tool inspired hand cannon called the Mater Multi-Threat. Lighter than it looks, deadlier than it seems, from Mita Industries' ad campaign. Okay, and yeah, right away, this is just like the most Mita multi-tool I've ever seen a hand cannon. I took a lot of parts and stuff from it, just kind of combined it together and stuff. I think it came out pretty good. Hope you guys do too, but let's just get into this thing. It is a primary hand cannon, of course, and it actually does arc damage. So that would be really cool to actually see, like, more exotic primaries actually, like, do burns other than just raid ones. So that would be really cool. And uh, this thing shoots really fast. If any of you avid hand cannon users out there noticed, this weapon has even higher rate of fire and lower impact than the highest archetype of hand cannon. So this one is its own new category, and it just shoots blindly fast. Let's look at its intrinsic perk right here, called Speed Demon. This weapon grants bonus agility, has increased rate of fire, and fires on a hair trigger. Now, like I said, this hand cannon would shoot really fast, but because of it, it would actually do a lot less damage. This weapon would kill, and f the fastest way you could kill someone with this gun is to hit perfectly five rapid headshots. And then the other, other slowest alternative would be hitting seven body shots. So, it would do about 40 damage to the head, about 29 to the body. So, it would, it would shoot fast like a sidearm, though. Also this weapon would reload horrendously fast instead of like the whole anim hand cannon animation we have for reloading how he flicks the chamber out then dumps the uh, revolver chamber out then he flicks it back forward slaps a new one in and then flicks the thing over all you'd have to do is flick out the chamber then it would spring load out so you wouldn't have to dump it back out you just quickly slap a new one in and then click it back so this would be a really, really fast reloading weapon, like ba 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 ba, reload, and you're done. Also, let's look at this other perk I designed, it's called a Radar Spike. Now, you see the screen that's on the gun, like how Mita Multi-Tool has? I would make the screen have a purpose. The way Radar Spike would work is you would be able to place a Radar Spike that can notify you of nearby threats. This action would expel the magazine and it would have a cooldown. So what it pretty much does is you have to have a full magazine and then you pull a charged shot and then you can place down a radar spike. And what that does is it's pretty much just a notification thing or like a motion sensor. You can place it anywhere and if any enemies go in that area, then you'll get a little notification on that screen. So if we look at 
uh, these pictures over here, there's different things that the spike can do or like the different stages. Um, this thing would have its own uh, fancy cooldown so you'll know when it is charging like this picture here and then you'll know when your spike is charged because you'll get this prompt on the screen saying spike ready and then you'll actually place it so then you'll get this prompt on the screen saying spike down that means you've placed it and it's waiting and these can time out but it, they sit there for a really long time and then when an enemy goes inside it just says threat found so then you know where they're at and where to track down that threat and it wouldn't do any damage it'd just be a little notification thing and uh yeah pretty cool gives that little screen a purpose so i think this would be pretty cool pretty much radar in your gun and it would glow and you would be able to shoot it if you're the enemy and you want the enemy wouldn't get a prompt knowing that you're there and you can be able to sneak past it that way by shooting it if you see it or just simply walk past it Alrighty, let's take a look at this last perk. This video is already pretty long, so let's speed this up. What this last perk does, and what it's called, is called Swift Shooter. And what it does is for every precision hit you land, you get a stack of speed. It stacks five times, and it lasts forever, but the only way it can go away is when you get critically wounded. And being critically wounded only has a chance to take it away. So it'd pretty much be like a 50% like removal rate but you could be able to just stack a lot of like swiftness and speed and running quick just off of uh, precision shots. And I think it's cool to where it's not just like on a timer that just fades away off into existence that uh, the enemy just kind of has to take it from you. Like you just, they got to work for it. And uh, one last little thing to give you a sense on what this gun might be like and like the rate of fire and stuff. Watch this little video. It would shoot about like this. So that's my take on a lava filled Omelon auto rifle and a Mida multi tool hand cannon in the form of the Mater multi threat. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, submit your own concept ideas down below. I would be happy to make them and uh, just see what they are. So that would be really cool if you guys could do that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and peace out.